So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Fridays and new Dax function every Friday. Now, in today's Dax Fridays, we're going to talk about modeling, we're going to talk about relationships, faltering, why sometimes this table falters this table and sometimes it does not. Confused me deeply when I was a beginner, so let's get those concepts clear, shall we? Let's get started. Okay, guys. I have Northwind data set that we always use. I have the representation of the model. Let me check, it. I'll show you here. We have category table and we have the product table. We have a one-to-many relationship. It means that one category can have many products, which in this case does have. And then we have an arrow here. That means there is a single relationship. It means that the relations, the propagation of the filter. So the category table can filter the product table, but the product table cannot filter the category table. Otherwise, it would be an arrow pointing on the other direction. Okay, so let's visualize that. I have exactly the same thing here, visually only. So if I click on the, let's take the dairy product, you can see that it filters our product table, right? which is exactly what we expect because there is an arrow pointing to the product table, meaning that the category can filter the product table. Good. Okay. Now let's do it the other way around. If I click on my product table and pick our beloved queso cabrales, as you can see, it's not filtering the category table. Why? Again, relationships will not allow for that to happen because the arrow should be pointing on the other side, right? And it is not. So can I make the product table filter the category table without using DAX? Yes, there are two methods. One is not recommended. The other one you can use. <laughs> we call it like that. Okay, so let's go back. If we Look, and the method that I do not recommend is the bidirectional relationship. So if we go to the modeling pane, double click on this relationship, and we change this type of single to both, and you'll see the two arrows appear. That's what we have here. Now it means that the category table can filter the product table, and the product table can fix the category table. So if I click on dairy products, it will filter our product table. And if I click on queso cabrales, it will filter our category table. Is it? Hallelujah, we've got it, right? Uh, no, no, wrong. <laughs> Here's the thing. There are, I've, I've done quite a few videos on bidirectional relationships and why you shouldn't use them. So I'm going to leave the links down below so you can go and check it. But there are quite a few reasons why it is not a recommended practice. And I know I did, as a beginner, use bidirectional relationships quite a lot to try to avoid them. There is another way to get this thing working and that confused me Dear, dearly, I'm serious, when I was a beginner. So if we go back to our single relationships, that means that only categories can table can filter the product table. Let's go in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table where I'm going to pick the category name for the categories table. And I'm going to put from the product tables the product name. This is a completely new table that picks, has one column from category table and one column from product table, right? Now, if I do the same exercise as I did in the beginning, I click on the category table dairy products. You can see that the product table is filtering and this new table is filtering too. Good. What happens if I now click on the product table and click on queso cabrales. You see that the category table is not filtering because the relationships do not allow it. But if you look at this table down here, it is filtering. You're like, what's going on? Why is that filtering? Well, the other one is not. Well, here is not being filtered by the relationships. It's being filtered by the reporting layer it is being filtered 
by the filters applied, the, you know, the cross filtering functionality in Power BI. You know, when you click on a visual that everything else filters at the same time, that the one click is basically a filter that gets applied on all the visualizations on the on the canvas. That is exactly what is being happening here. And you can see it by clicking on the filtering arrow that shows you what filters have been applied to that visual. You can see that their filters apply are category ID, which is four, and then queso cabrales. And this is what is filtering. The fil this filter here is what is filtering this table. It's not the relationship. So the relationships are still blocking it, but the cross filtering is allowing that to happen. If you look at the filtering here, you'll see that it is exactly the same. Queso cabrales four. But here there's no queso cabrales and this it's just no no dairy products and queso cabrales in that visual while there is in here and that way it gets filtered. So it is not because of the relationships, it is because of the cross filtering. I have a ton of videos on relationships. If you want to know more, for example, about understanding relationships, it is here. I have a playlist full of modeling and relationships tips. Go there and learn more. It will help your tax tremendously, trust me. So enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again on Monday. Bye bye.